guys we're back with another video today and as the title you can see that i'm gonna just be sewing with you but y'all gonna watch me sew so let's get into this video hold on can we just explain like <laughs> my braids are still holding up edges laid without having to do all just naturally laid. Yes, yes, yes. Hold on. Let's do a quick little dance. Alright, let's get into the video. Alright, so we got our sewing machine here set up. And I'm going to set up my thread and needle. So we're going to be using white. And by the way, I'm going to make a coin pout. Oh, whoop, whoop coin pound why do i keep saying pouch <laughs> i'm gonna make a coin pouch okay so first things first though in order for you to sew you need to set up your thread and needle i made a knot here so let me get my scissors Okay. Oh, guys, I need my fabric. <laughs> okay, so, anyways, like I was saying, I'm gonna set up my needle and throttle. What? Why do I keep messing up words? Like, this is so annoying. But, you guys, I'm not even gonna say it because I feel like I'll mess up if I say it again. Why do I keep stuttering? Okay, guys, I don't know what's wrong today, but we're going to work with it, okay? So, first thing, you put this one up first. I'm not going to do a whole... Wow. I'm not going to do a whole little tutorial on how to set it up, because that's not what I'm doing in this video. But, if you guys do want to be like that, just let me know. So, it got caught in my zipper but it's cool so we're gonna put this up here and to do this little roll. bring it through make sure it goes inside the little loop then we're gonna thread the needle Okay, so we finally got it through. Now, what you need to make a coin pouch is not really that much items. All you need is some scissors, some zippers. Like, I have other colors too, but I think today we should use, I don't know yet. I might do black or red or something. I don't know yet. And you just need some fabric hold up let me do a this might be my thumbnail I don't know yet so yeah you need some fabric scissors zippers and that's it like that's all you need and even if you don't have a sewing machine you can still make this in my opinion you can still make it because if you don't have a sewing machine you just get a thread and needle and you just thread you, you sew thread not thread the, um, zipper on it so i'm gonna start and i'm gonna show you guys what i did the last time i made a coin pouch if you guys follow me on snapchat then you know what i'm talking about but if not then i'll just drop a video on the side probably right here so yeah look out for that and let's get started so what i decided to do is pick up my cotton but it's like <clears throat> the last time 
well, not really the last time, but like the other day when I did this, I used kind of something like this. Let me show you guys. Like a hard fabric like this. And I was like, when I turned it inside out, I was like, oh my God, I did not know it was going to be this hard. So this time I'm going to use a soft, like regular fabric. So I'm going to use these two. And maybe I'll do this brown zipper. Comment down below which which color you guys think I should do. Should I do white? Hmm. I think I should do white. Should I do white, black, red, or brown? And I got some new ones here. Well, not really new. It's the same color, but I have a lighter brown. Can you guys see that, girl? Okay. So, whatever, I have, oh, hey, I have, <laughs> I have a lighter brown, but to be honest with you guys, I actually think that I should do white. Mm, white. White, red, mm -mm, no, 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 no. Or, I don't think it really matters, but I think I'm going to just do white. But I feel like this brown will look cute, too. It's a little bit off, but let's get started. So the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is line it up. You guys can't see. I should just move. Whoa. <laughs> wow, Kalia. <laughs> I bring you guys down more closer. And so like I was saying, I'm going to line this up with the fabric. And it actually lines up pretty well. Okay. Because you need two fabrics. That's like two cent two inches. <clears throat> not centimeter. And I know you guys is not gonna understand that. But basically like this, like this size. But since my zippers are longer, I'm just doing what my fabric is so i'm just gonna do this and when i do that first of all i have to cut it so matter of fact yeah let me do that yeah i think i should do that so i'm gonna cut this in half that's the good part about having good scissors because when you cut you don't want it to come out crooked you want it to come out with me? Because when I first started cutting... The most wackest pair of scissors. Okay, I think I cut the ending real crooked. Yeah, I don't even know how to say that word neither. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but anyways. So we have our fabric right here. So you guys see this, right? I'm going to sew this right along here. Closer to the edge, but not closer to the edge. But not closer to the edge. So I'm just going to do my method so that I know which side I'm sewing on. And I'm just going to flip it here. And I'm going to sew. And then flip it again the backwards way and then sew. And a good thing to do is pin it down so that it, w it doesn't move anywhere. So I'm going to pin it right here at the end where the zipper is at. Like, I'm not really good at this at these videos to, like, teach people how to make something. Because it's, like, I would have the camera set up and I would just do a voiceover. But since I just want you guys to see how I did it the regular way. Like, this is literally how I was, I was sitting in my crib making it. So, and we're going to sew. One advice I can give you guys. <laughs> Why I look back at the camera like that? Hold on. 
so one advice i can give you guys is that um the top part like this and the ending so that it gives it much easier like you have to stretch the fabric you don't just you have to stretch it so that it's going in smoothly part because y'all probably like get to the point because i want to get to the point too like what the heck here so that let me show you guys so that that is sitting exactly on top of the fabric okay I'm like very chill tonight because every time I sew, I'm like, it calms me. So now you're gonna push the needle into it. And now we're ready. guys like the other day was crazy because i really kind of bended my needle and i was like oh heck no now when you get to the bottom you have to um open the zipper so that you could get the rest of it because it's going to be in the way. And this is where okay, it all so we're done starts. With this side. So we're going to do just the same thing to the other side, but this time I'm going to bring the fabric at the top of the zipper, which is right here. Okay, oh, guys. what just happened was like something really crazy, and I'm so thankful that I just bought, that I got some new needles because this is so heartbreaking. Like, why? Just why? Let me show you guys. I know y'all see that my needle broke, bro. <laughs> I started, I put my feet on the, um, you know, and all I heard was boom, and it broke. And I told you guys that I bend my needle a little bit. I did told you guys that. So, like, it's over for me. Ain't no with my... All right. Let's fix this because it's crazy. I got some new ones, like I said. And so we're, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to end this video right here. Because it was getting so good. It was going to be a nice finished product. So we're going to... Jesus Christ, I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> she is so disappointed. I really don't know what's going on today. I don't know, like... I'm stuttering. I'm messing up words. Um, I was in the kitchen seasoning something. And everything just kept dropping. And then I just mad bored today. Cranky. Like, what's good? Like, it's all right, though. We're just going to try this another time. But I'm definitely going to upload this video because this is great content because it's mad funny. Like, how did my needle break?
Beef Brothers came with a good, nice three needles. So thanks to them, I'm gonna just use one of these and I'm gonna find out how to replace a needle. <sighs> like, comment, share, subscribe.